Knowing the productivity rates for the majority of the items in your project is very important when you are trying to estimate the cost of labors or manpower required to do the works. That's why in this video, we will go through some of the productivity rates for the famous or the popular or the most commonly used items in the project. And we're starting right now. So as we can see here on the screen, what I am going to do, I am going to write here item. This is the item or the work that I am going to be doing. and what labor categories I need for this item. So labor category. So the first item, let's start with concrete casting. And let's say for the concrete casting, I need unskilled laborers, and I need also masons. And here I'll have the labor category cost. So labor category cost. Let's say I need three unskilled laborers, and each will cost 120 per day. And I need three masons and each will cost 170 per day. So I'm getting here a cost of around 870. Then after that, I need the productivity, which is the purpose of this video actually. How much is the productivity of this crew? So I'm talking about six labors here, six labors, three masons and three unskilled labors. And if I assume that they can cast 200 cubic meters of concrete per day, so the cost per unit of measurement will be this divided by the productivity. So I'm getting around 4.5 or something. If you make this 180, then it becomes almost five. So we are looking at a productivity of this range for these six labors. And this is for the concrete casting. Let's now go to the next item, which is for example, formwork. So for the formwork, what labor category we need? We need carpenters. So carpenter. And it's just one carpenter and I'll assume the cost per day will be 170. So if I know the productivity here, this 170, if I know the productivity, let's assume that he can make two columns or a column and a half. If two columns, then 24 square meters of form work. Let us put the unit here. So I'll say here unit. And here I'll put cubic meter for the concrete casting. It's in cubic meter. And this one will be per square meter because this is four more. So again, same formula will apply. So it's about seven. Seven seems less to me. So maybe one column and a half. Well, one column will be around 12 square meters of four more. So if one and a half, that's 18 something in the range of 10 will be logical or achievable. Let's go to the next item, which is a steel fixing. So for a steel fixing, I need steel fixer. And this steel fixer again per day will be 170. So just copy the same formula here. And what is the productivity? If I say 300 kilograms, because this is measured in kilograms. So each steel fixer can, let's say, install 300 kilograms of steel. So I'll say this divided by 300, then it's around 0.5 per kg for the installation. So if you are looking for the productivity, these are the productivities that I am assuming for these items. And quickly, if we are meeting for the first time, I am Ahmed Adel and you are watching Cost Engineering Professional. And here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your cost engineering career. So if this is what you want, you can quickly subscribe. Let's go to the next item. And let's say, for example, block walls building. So we are building block walls. For this, we need masons and we need again unskilled laborers. So unskilled labor here. Let me just use the same here. Okay, so one mason I need here, 170, and one unskilled labor, 120. So 290. And what is the expected productivity? Usually it's within the range of 150 blocks. So 150 blocks multiplied by the dimension of block, it's let's say 0.2 into 0.4. So that's around 12 square meters. And in that case, the same formula will apply. So that's 24. Actually, it seems high to me. So this productivity should be something within the range of 15 or 16. 18. So yes, we are talking about 16 square meters per day for these two 
one mason and one unskilled labor. Then what can be the next item? Let's say plaster application for walls. And same, I need one mason and unskilled labor. And how much the expected productivity will be within the range of 20 square meters or 18. And the same formula will apply. And this is also measured in square meters. So it's about 16. The next item will be, let's take flooring tiles. So flooring tiles installation. And again, one mason and one unskilled labor will be required. And if we say 14 square meters, so around 20. Let's freeze this one. Freeze. Okay. Then if we are talking about wall tiles installation, same, we need one mason and one unskilled labor. And the productivity approximately will be a little bit less than the flooring. So let's say 12 square meters. So about 24. Can make it 13. Okay. Then after that we need, let's say, um, an installation of interlocking tiles. And for this, I need again one mason and one unskilled labor and the productivity here will be higher than the wall tiles and the floor tiles so it will be within the range of 20 so that's around 14.5 per square meter again these are the most commonly used items in any project but if you need to know the productivity of some other items please let me know in the comments like what can be the other items i'm sure we we haven't covered everything because the project items are so much but these are the most commonly used ones let's say kerbstone so again same one mason, one unskilled labor, and let's say 24 linear meters per day. So here, this will be linear meter. I'll leave this template in the description below for the download if you need it to get the productivity from here. But I just want to explain one thing that the productivity will vary from one labor to the other labor, even if they are doing the same work. So these are averages. We are putting averages here and from one country to another country because people who are watching cost engineering professional are from India, from United Arab Emirates, from United States, from Saudi Arabia, from Philippines, from Nigeria, from so many countries. And these productivities will vary depending on the weather conditions and the availability of the work and everything. So I'm just giving you an example or an approximation of what is the expected productivity per day can be for the different items in the project. As I said, this template will be available for the download from the description, you will find the link. And also don't forget to check out our new cost estimation course, the ultimate guide tons of information there. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.